Good morning, everybody. We're in Sauk Center, Minnesota. We got old Blue Purrin ready to go. I'm just gonna run inside, grab a coffee. We got this load behind us. We're taking it to Saskatchewan and Alberta next week. I'm going home first for the weekend. Works out perfect that I can stop by on my way to Saskatchewan and Alberta. I was just saying good morning to you guys and what do you know? He showed up all the way from England. <laughs> just to say hello. <laughs> just to say hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> out with the old and with the new. I gotta go in and grab a new coffee. That was Daniel who came and said hi to me. He's uh, living in Canada now, originally from England. That was pretty cool. Thanks for coming to say hi, Daniel. This truck stop is pretty cool too. I don't know if I can compare it to Iowa 80. I don't know if it's on the same level as that, but you know, it's kind of like a mini one. It's got a nice little chrome shop in here. I would say you guys should stop by here too. I believe it's called, yeah, it's called Trucker's Inn. It's kind of the back entrance. I need to get me some new lights yet. I need to get the heated lens. I'm gonna do some shopping first, see which ones I want. I'll get them in a few months. They got all kinds of stuff. ourselves in so we don't fall out. What was that? Oh. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. We're going home. Lights on. You guys ready? We're just gonna make sure our trailer's attached. Sure looked like it was attached when I checked it. Just gonna jut forward and pull the trailer brake. Trailer is attached. Brakes also work on the trailer. I'm gonna roll forward again and brakes release. Fantastic, yes, fantastic. How do I get out of here? I think I gotta go this way, right? Yeah, I think I gotta go this way. Off we go. Do -do 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 -do. Got my coffee, I'm headed home. Sun is shining, there's no snow, it's a good day. So yeah, like I said, Truckers Inn truck stop. This is the back side of it, so it doesn't look too fancy here. That's their service shop and everything, but 
It's actually a pretty cool little truck stop. It's like an old school ma and pa truck stop. I like supporting these places. They're not huge, massive corporations that just came in and sort of, you know, decimated all local businesses. But, nice little place. Then there's a Walmart right across the freeway over there if you guys want to go over there and do some grocery shopping. It's convenient. This road, however, is a little bit difficult to get on sometimes. It doesn't look like we'll have too hard of a time today. It can get pretty busy. So I fueled up in St. Cloud last night, so I won't have to fuel up today. The next time I fuel up will be in Alberta. Because by the time I get to Alberta, my tanks are gonna be getting a little bit thirsty. And they got the cheapest juice on the prairies. Actually, they got the cheapest juice in Canada. God bless Alberta. You know, if Britt and I didn't have our families and our whole roots deep down in Manitoba, We'd be on a beeline straight for Alberta. I'd be living in Alberta already. But Manitoba is home. And you can't replace that. And Southern Manitoba is not too bad. It's sort of like Alberta light. <laughs> Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta are very similar. And I really like the location that we're at too, so eh. If I had the option, maybe I would stay where I'm at. But I do love Alberta. It's still my favorite province of Canada. Everything there just makes sense, you know? Most things there. Do they like 
look at some reference point on the ground and then just remember that for the next pass? How do they know they got it all and that they didn't miss anything? I forgot you guys in the truck so diesel came with me to come get you don't worry no man left behind I went to get you I always forget something always so I'm just around the corner from my shop I'm gonna be home for tomorrow all day and then the next day early in the morning Saskatchewan calleth me. You heard it, right? And then Alberta calls me after that. Six drops. I'm trying to figure out how long it's going to take me to uh, deliver them. I'm hoping I can get them all done Monday and Tuesday. But it might take me into Wednesday a little bit. And I have a reload on Wednesday. I'm not too sure... Or at least I'm, I made myself available for a reload around Edmonton on Wednesday. I told them my deliveries might be going into Wednesday morning. So Wednesday afternoon I'm available. So that means if I have a reload in Calgary, it'll be for Thursday morning. And pretty much what I'm thinking then is whatever load I pick up, I'm probably just bringing straight back here for next weekend. Because if I, if I load there Wednesday afternoon, get going, I'll be back... Thursday night back a little bit early for the weekend but you know maybe I'll be back Friday and Saturday then and then leave early Sunday for a Monday delivery somewhere or wait no I gotta be home we're getting a new bathroom installed on that Monday the following after that I gotta be home for that Monday because if we have strangers coming into the house uh, Britt would probably get a little overwhelmed with all the dogs and uh, taking care of Theo Last time we did this, we had our plumbing and heating company come into our house. And uh, I wasn't home, it was just Britt and the dogs. That was before Theo was even born. And uh, obviously, a little bit of a stressful time with the dogs. <laughs> it's nice to be there to help her out with that. They can be a bit much when there's a stranger in the house. They're not dangerous or anything, but they, they're just, you know, really excited. And... Hi, Diesel. It's good to be home. So the nursery is now 100% functional. Theo is sleeping in his crib now. Every night. And he actually loves it. He's been sleeping way better in here than he was in the bassinet in our room. Sleeps through the whole night now. Straight through. Which is a huge relief. Because in the newborn stage, he was up every two, two and a half hours. Now we put him down at night and he's out for eight to nine hours straight. 